it's surprising that a broken wheel of an excavator can still be repaired. Indeed, in Pakistan, almost anything can be fixed with a lathe, just like this broken wheel, for example. Come with me and watch this guy fix it. Once a solid connection method was determined with such a large shaft, a dial indicator had to be used for precision checking. Only when the axis of the shaft aligns perfectly with the lathe's rotating center can the broken surface be machined completely flat to fit a thick steel pipe inside the shaft. It's not just about enlarging the hole, the outer diameter of the steel pipe must also be taken into account, with repeated adjustments to the inner size. The main goal is to leave room for the steel pipe so that the inner diameter of the shaft remains unchanged after the repair. However, surfaces merely touching each other can't bear much load. To ensure the internal part also has sufficient strength, it was expanded and threaded. Although only the joint area could be welded, the spiral thread greatly increases the strength of the connection. This is one of the key benefits of using threads. But to ensure a perfect fit, the technician had to carefully measure the internal hole of the shaft and meticulously machine the steel pipe using a lathe tool, both to remove rust from the surface and avoid cutting too deeply, which could create gaps. At this stage, a pre-prepared threading tool could be used to create new threads on the steel pipe surface. Once the threads match in size to avoid mismatch, the technician tried fitting the pipe into the shaft to see if it aligned properly. Only when the pipe and shaft fit tightly together could the accuracy of the threaded connection be confirmed. Next, the pipe was removed again to prepare for threading the broken gear segment. Since the steel pipe had already been lathed twice, creating threads with matching dimensions would be relatively easy. The entire process went smoothly thanks to the technician's excellent memory and craftsmanship. However, since the steel pipe had to be connected to the threaded part of the gear, the technician clamped the gear securely onto the lathe's rotary table. This made it easier to measure with a dial indicator because the larger the outer diameter, the higher the chance of error. The machining of the gear followed the same principle as the shaft, ensuring the inner hole was precisely sized. Once completed, the three parts could be assembled into a complete wheel and the technician completed the machining effortlessly. At this point, the shaft could rotate and fit into place. Although this repair relied entirely on threading, it was also the only method to ensure durability and retain the original dimensions. Next, a pipe wrench was used to make repeated adjustments until the shaft returned to its original length with a fixed distance compensating for the part that had been cut away. Welding rods were then used to weld the three components together. Welding helped secure the threads, preventing loosening, and fuse the steel pipe into a unified structure. However, welding would affect the shaft usability, so it had to be turned again to recreate the original groove, enhancing the appearance and making the repair site invisible. In the end, the broken excavator wheel could be installed and used immediately. The shaft's inner diameter remained unchanged. The result of this repair was truly astonishing.